I slapped on the 28mm lens on the Minolta XGM and I took it for a spin. I've previously shot with the 50mm lens which is a little bit different to the 28mm lens in the sense that you're a little bit more closer to the subject. The 28mm lens allows you to take shots from a wider perspective. There are a few things that I've picked up by shooting film these past few months and the first thing is that lighting is very important when you're shooting on film. Well at least that's what I've experienced. If you are shooting against the light your pictures will come out very grainy and this is an example of a very grainy picture that I've taken. I think here the light might have been a little bit too harsh it was the middle of the day so a lot of contrasts in the picture and I don't know if the film really handles it very well. But then I also have other examples where I shot in broad daylight where the pictures came out very fine. Now you'll see that the, this specific picture is washed with red and I'll get into that a little bit later. In low light conditions, I've also struggled to take sharp pictures as these pictures of the berries demonstrate. Um, I took this picture in the morning light and the light was a little bit dark but I didn't expect it to come out this unclear or this muddy. Now, the following picture will explain to you exactly what happened to this specific roll of film. Here you can see a picture of my father and the film is torn on both the left upper corner and the left lower corner. Now, the reason for this is that when I finished the roll of film, I had to push the button on the, um, the Minolta XGM at the bottom to allow me to reverse or rewind the film without actually damaging it. Well, I didn't press that button and essentially I tore the film. Well, so I had to make a plan to get this film into a cartridge that was completely sealed off of light or that was completely sealed from light. And I think this is what led to some of these red um, lines or red light that squashed onto some of these pictures um, as you can see in this photo and in this photo there are also a few light streaks that came through in certain photos like in this one where I took a picture of our dog where there's this random red strip of light through the picture and I'm, I'm not sure why that's there but all in all I really like the quality of the 28mm lens, I really enjoyed shooting on it and I'll definitely continue shooting on the 28mm lens. Um, I've, the, the biggest lesson that I've learned is that I need to adequately reverse the film.